Right. Hi, it's Kieran Stapleton. It's Friday the 22nd of March. I'm here with a load of students here who've got lots to do and lots to say about what they've been up to this week. So without further ado, okay, people have been involved in mock trials. Here we go. Hello. <laughs> um, so we went to Reading Crown Court and we competed against other schools in a mock trial competition. Uh, we got second, so now we're moving on to the regional finals. Um, I was the defender. And, um, and so yeah. Alfonso, tell us some of, who are some of the schools that you're competing against. So we competed against Herschel Grammar and King's Academy in Reading. And, uh, sorry? We didn't actually draw against us. Yeah. yeah. But um, we went against them and we beat them. So now we're going on to the second. We got second place and going on to the finals. No. Brilliant. So done really, really well. Oh, so Matt, that, don't underestimate. That's a huge kind of breakthrough. Loads of, that, how, how much training did you do with that? Three months. Three months, three months, three months. Three months training. It's huge, isn't it? It's a real. And, yeah, and who did you have helping you out with that? Yes. Oh, Dave and Jeremy. Dave, Jeremy. And what, what, what were their? What's their roles? Yeah. No, they magistrate. They come, down. They come down to be prepared for that, which is absolutely brilliant. Really, really well done. Let's get you all on. Give all a quick wave as we come around. All these people working really, really hard here. Right, this young lad. Being involved in the Thames Valley Learning Partnership. That's 11 schools, that's about 11,000 students, and we had a philosopher on. Tell us a little bit, introduce yourself, tell us a little bit about what you did and what you've done, because this is a pretty big deal. Yeah, sure. Hi, my name is Sofar, and I won the philosopher, which happened on Tuesday, the 19th of March this week. Brilliant. Tell us a little bit about what the philosopher was. Yeah, so it was a debate with uh, local schools around the area, which are under the TVLP. And um, they had schools which include this uh, Herschel Grandma, Eton College, and Hollyport. And yeah, so we came out decent in the total competition, but yeah, I won it. But you won the award, absolutely yeah. right. And that was presented up at Eton, wasn't it? Yeah. There, well, so yeah. By no means beat. Watch out for this man because he's somebody <laughs> for the future. Another man for the future. Really, really well done. Thank you. Okay, thank you. And we've had some design and technology competitions. Tell us a little bit, Nathan, Matilda, about what you've been involved in. Um, so we went to a competition in London. We were uh, part of a group. Part of the same team, yeah, yeah. as it goes. So it's huge, huge, right? So it's an amazing thing that you've done there as well. Really, really well done. And Cameron, just starting in the background, tell us what you've been up to this week. Um, so on Tuesday, our chaplaincy team went up to Northampton uh, to celebrate the fourth year anniversary of Bishop David Brickham and Bishop. Um, and we went up to Northampton Cathedral. Uh, we said Mass with Bishop David and uh, got to meet uh, a couple of other schools as well, part of that. Brilliant. So what you got? Faith, commerce, productivity, outright intelligence and debating. And basically, here's the next bunch of lawyers and barristers. Yes. So the future is hopeful. Thank you ever so much, guys. That's brilliant. I've got to go back to lessons. Thank you so much. I'm just going to finish off here. Very last bits. Okay, here we go. So, um, just a quick message for parents, Year 11 parents. Um, we need you in for the final information evening um, at 6 p.m. on Tuesday. Um, that's, the G that's the final run into the GCSEs, and it's about revision over the Easter holidays. There's only 40 days now between now and the first of those exams, and some of the subjects only have 10 lessons left coming in there. So, we'll get you prepared and so that you know what you're up to um, and how to get the best out of students over that last period of time. With, Easter being so early um, this year. We will finish end of term on Thursday the 28th of March. Um, dismissal will be at 12.30 and then we'll see all the students back here on the 15th of April. Um, and then finally, um, uh, uh, a real well done to all our primary colleagues. So the, what you want is primary school teachers. Big shout out to them who will be watching this as well. Um, they've been subject to scrutiny at a national level from the Department of Education. Um, 524 students in year six across our trust um, against 47,000 sample across the nation and the reading age in the primary schools was a year and a half above national levels which bodes really well um, for them, for the students and of course us as well, the students will come in. Right, that's it from us everybody. Um, have a great weekend. St Joseph, pray for us. Thank you guys. Have a great weekend.